Hello colleagues and friends, this is Calvins and today I want to act on uh, some requests that were made by some colleagues on uh, the issue of uh, auto-generation of uh, principal's comments and class teacher's comments. You know very well that uh, the report cards are supposed to contain some, mm, some, some comments uh, down at the bottom. Uh, so these comments are normally auto-generated by the system. So certain colleagues may want uh, those, re those comments to be auto-generated by the system. Uh, some may also want uh, that they write them uh, uh, by themselves. So the request was that um, how do we have those auto-generations happening? How do we have those auto-generations uh, for the comments taking place. So I want to show you how we can auto-generate the comments so that the report cards will contain all the comments as per the performance of uh, uh, the students. So we are going to launch the master data entry form here. So when we launch the master data entry form, uh, this form uh, is coming up. This form here is actually having everything here to do with data entry. So we had looked at them in the previous video. Uh, today, let me just jump into this section, the setting section, where you're able to see here report card comments. So when you click on report card comments, uh, this one will come up. So you are able to see a principal's comments. So this pin here will uh, be the one that we'll be using to update those auto-generated uh, comments. That is the principal's comments and the class teacher's comments. So before you do that, you have to upload, uh, you have to load the default comments because the system has default comments that it's using. If you don't want to uh, use your own comments, you may let it continue using uh, the default uh, comments, the principal's default comments, or the class teacher's default comments. They're the ones which will appear in the report card, but if you want to change them, you will always come here and load the current comments. These are the default comments. So if you want to change, you can change them appropriately. You can change any of them appropriately. So let's say we want to change on this one, uh, even the first one, the comment for a plane, excellent. Uh, keep it up. Uh, we can change this one. Excellent. Maintain this impressive. Maintain this impressive uh, work. Maintain this impressive work. So uh, by doing that one, we have already updated the A comment. The grade A comment. So you can update any one of them uh, as you wish, uh, and then uh, you will have to update. After updating, you'll have to click this button, update. So you can update as many of them, or, or you can even update all of them. We can be update two, you can update uh, three or four, any as you wish. Then you click update. So when you click on update, you will uh, see this small message box here telling us that the principal's comments updated successfully. So that means you have updated some of the comments, then you say, okay. So uh, that one means you have updated the default uh, comments. So you can change them as you wish. So that is principal's comments. You can also switch to class teacher's comments. When you switch to class teacher's comments, you're able to see that you also have another blank uh, uh, text box here in this particular pane. So here you are able to load. You can also load the default comments, the class teacher's default comments. So when you press load current comments, you will see we have already loaded the default uh, comments uh, for the class teacher that are able to appear on the report card. So this one's also, you can update them uh, uh, as you wish. So uh, let us update any of them or we can update all of them. So let me update this one here. Uh, very good work. You can achieve much 
or good work put it uh, put in more effort uh, we can update that one uh, good work continue continue uh, continue uh, with that uh, spirit so uh, with that we have already updated uh, that B comment so we can even update uh, the E comment here this is not where you should be get out of it and I can add it there wake up wake up so any of them can be updated uh, fairly good keep working um, keep working harder uh, keep, keep working, working harder, keep working harder, and harder. So, so you can update the way you want as per this particular grades. So then you update. So when you click update button, you see uh, it will actually tell us that the class teacher's comments updated successfully. So you say okay. So with that, you have updated the default settings the default comments for the class teacher and the principal so as i have said you can use the defaults or you can update them in the way you want and the way i have already demonstrated so when we close this window when we close this window and jump straight into uh, this pane where we have the reports you can look at the report cards so you find that uh, uh, for example this for one report cards these are the headings okay uh, when you look at this You'll see that uh, at the bottom here, you'll find that the comments are generated according to the performance. So you can see, like these students have got 494 marks out of 1100. This student is having D. Plus. So you can see the comments here. These are the comments. So they will be coming according to the performances and according to uh, what we have. Uh, on those comments. So when we change, uh, we let us switch to another student. Let us put this one. Okay, look at these students uh, with uh, C plus. Uh, the performance, you can do better. Just keep up the effort. Fair, fairly good. Uh, keep up working harder and harder. So you can see this uh, uh, comment that we just updated. So you can see they are automatically generated when you put on this one you'll see somebody here with d plus again uh, the comments they are auto generated according to that performance so you can auto update auto auto generate those comments so when we go back and look at maybe form two again the same thing the same thing here you can see according to the performance there according to the performance the mm, comments are coming appropriately so when you change to another student you're able to see they are just coming appropriately so you can see this person is having d minus and the comment is get out of this you can still achieve much with hard work that is the best then the class teacher stop relaxing get focused on your studies so you can see that the auto comments or the comments are coming according to the performances of those students. They are coming according to the performances of those students. And that is very, very handy because certain teachers will uh, prefer auto generated comments to those ones which are just written uh, manually because the students may be very many. And now the class teacher is not able to sit down in good time and write all the comments. Even the principal may be very busy, and now when you put him or her down to write the comments, it becomes a daunting task on them. So, auto generated uh, comments are very, very handy in a report card a generation, as you are able to see. So, uh, it will be automatically done according to the performances, and they're very, very appropriate. They're very, very appropriate. So, I uh, want to appreciate you much. Because of your concern, those teachers who wanted me to demonstrate the auto generation of those comments, I want to thank you big for your concern. And uh, that will mark the end of this video. I'm sure the next video I will be demonstrating or just 
showing you how to. My how to on this particular program will come very soon. Otherwise, have a very nice time. Thank you and may God bless you.